Our world needs leaders more than ever. Without leadership, there can be no vision, no direction, no clarity of purpose. Companies, boards and governments are being led by people who put their own interests, egos and thirst for power and money ahead of the needs of the collective. We are experiencing a leadership crisis. This extends beyond political preferences, philosophies and geographical borders. The issues are many. The question is, how do we solve them? The last live leader that truly motivated or inspired me was Nelson Mandela. And he stood for something that went beyond just um, a small cycle in somebody's life. Are leaders born or are they made? And I think the answer is that both are true. Leadership is in human nature, and the skills to inspire and influence others can be learned. The more I do this work, the more I realize how little people know about how to develop their own leadership. I am on this journey to explore what it takes to be a leader and what we need to learn to become the leaders of the 21st century. When you have a leader that is not self-aware, you have a recipe for disaster. People leave their leader. They don't leave their company. I think that our society is sorely lacking compassion, especially in leadership roles where it's critical of critical importance. As a leader, we need to consider this change, this change in the world and the change in the expectations. And whilst command and control may have worked once upon a time, it doesn't work anymore. The challenge of uh, leadership in any sphere I think is a combination of getting things done and having a, a real sense of purpose. How much you have <clears throat> developed of your mind and your brain, refined you could say the mind and brain, is the fundamental ingredient in higher performance. The challenge is for leaders to understand that their uh, distress, their anger, their fear, their frustration is uh, passed into an organization. And it's not just the words, it's not just a moment where I, they say, oh, I'm so upset, and let it go. That people are connected to these big growth aspirations, and they feel the pressure that the boss brings into an environment. I would like to work for a leader that respects me, and as he respects me as a person, I can respect him too. I think leadership development is crucial to any company that has tough business objectives. The risk of an organization, if uh, they don't uh, develop talent and leadership, which is a part of the talent, is dying, just dying. Leadership matters. Embracing our own leadership is where we need to start.